Sup everyone, I'm your female Taku, and I'm here to review episode 11 of Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. And we have two episodes left, guys. Ah, uh, I don't want this journey to come to an end. I pray that we'll get a season two, but I really don't know how well this anime is doing over in Japan. So we find out that Miyokichi actually left Konatsu and Sukuroku, and Konatsu has been the one supplying her and her father with the money. She's been performing Rakugo over at another restaurant or whatever, and just get collecting like loose change. And Sukuroku, he's just been drinking, you know, being a lazy bum, only this time being a lazy bum and not doing like anything. Like before, back when he was doing Rakugo, he was still lazy bum, but he at least did Rakugo. This time he doesn't even do it, unless here and there sometimes for Konatsu. So I'm really upset that Miyokichi left. She, I, I just hate her more and more, I really do. Luckily, Yakumo's here to be the fairy godmother. He comes in and he acts like a mother. And I'm just like, Yakumo, I'm so glad you're still intact with your feminine side. Reminding us that Yakumo is still a woman in a man's body. And so he's basically the mother throughout the episode. And him and his relationship with Konatsu, that was really sweet. I'm not gonna lie. When he was cutting her hair and then performing the Rakugo, for her, and also he he comes in there and he's just all like, first we're gonna get you some new clothes, here's some money, you gotta make sure you pay me back, you gotta also find a new job, we gotta clean up the place, and I'm just all like, yo Yakumo, nice. And he's staying there, not giving up, hoping that Tsukuroku will come back to do more Rakugo. The reason, however, was kind of shocking. Yakumo wasn't there to get Sukuroku back up on his feet and for him to be happy again. Yakumo admits that he's doing this for himself. He needs Sukuroku's Rakugo for various reasons. He needs his Rakugo so that he can be jealous again. He needs his Rakugo so that he can love it again, use it as motivation, use, his, use it as in comparison to his, just multiple reasons, but he needs Tsukuroku's Rakugo to fuel his very own performance. So that was a very interesting reveal. It kind of made him seem a little evil. And you even saw his face too. I'm just like, Yakumo, what is this? And Tsukuroku, he's just all like, you've changed a lot, haven't you? And I'm all like, heck yeah, he has, man. Most likely your favorite part of the entire episode, as it was mine, was when Tsukuroku and Yakumo we're performing Rakugo together. Cause you see first, Yakumo was just performing it and he was doing it in his old little style and stuff. And Kanatsu, she was just like, ooh, scary. Like she was getting goosebumps, the chills. And then Sukuroku comes in with his dazzling zany style. And Kanatsu is all laughing and giggling and then they do it together. And it just made, makes you feel kind of warm and fuzzy. You just are like, this is nice. I like this. <laughs> and for those of you who actually tuned into the podcast I was in, the Katatsu, on Sun Wukong's channel earlier this Tuesday, we actually discussed comfy and relaxing anime. And Shogun Roku Rakugo Shinju is definitely one of those comfy and relaxing anime. And it's just because mainly of these types of scenes. And the OST too, the OST, the little upbeat jazz going on in the background during that performance. I love it every single time and I cannot get enough of it, guys. And at the very end of the episode, we see Miyokichi with her new and latest man candy, smoking by the window, gets this article or flyer about a Rakugo performance with Kiku and Sukuroku. And Miyokichi cries. So it looks like they will be reunited, the three of them, next week. What's gonna happen? Ooh, I don't want this to end. I really don't. <sighs> let's let's just hope for season two. Please, season two. 
I need more of this. At least we have two episodes left instead of one, right? Catch you tomorrow as I review Haikyuu Season 2, Utaramono Itsuare no Kamen, and Rara Ketsu. I'm Mifimo Otaku, sayonara!